Look at that pretty sunset. Isn't it fantastic? Hello, yacht covers. I gotta be careful I don't drop this in the ocean. Look, look at, look at all that ocean. Ain't she pretty? I'm here in Galveston. This is the first video I've made in a while, and uh, I blame myself. Check that out. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bus with a car that's cut in half and set on top of it. So it's like a bus with a green room where people are. Oh, that's nice. That sure, that sure is a pretty sunset. It's been a while since I've made a video, and, uh, and I blame myself. I feel terrible about it. I've uh, really readjusted well to American society. It didn't take much adjusting. And uh, now I speak a language that's only spoken in one country in the world. Thai and nowhere else. So that was a lot of time spent using, learning a useless skill. What ifs? On the other hand, my dating life is going really well. I'm really getting into the flow of it. I think you know, being in Thailand and being Right, and the sun's in my ass. I'm having all kinds of fortune with, you know, friends and girls and social life. So that's good. I bought, I got a date almost every night of the week. I'm busy going out, partying hardy, getting my dance on. The other night I went to a tango class for the first time. That was pretty fucking fun. And uh, I also went two stepping at a country western club. Yeehaw! It's a very cool crowd. I have to say that people who go to dancing clubs are way, way, way cooler than people who go to drinking bars. Because drinks don't make anyone very interesting. But uh, but if you dance in your personal culture, and uh, I think so far the progress that I made in a, a city that seems to be strangely devoid of culture is commendable. Commendable, that's a good one. Look at the size of that building. That's a big building. Actually, and right now, I'm, I decide to come a little early, half an hour early, to show up for a date. Because I believe in punctuality. I've discovered in my dating forays that uh, human beings are not reliable. Not my dating forays, and just business and socialization altogether that if somebody says they're going to be somewhere you know don't get their number don't call to confirm don't text to remind them and see if they show up and uh, if they do show up then that tells me that they're a reliable person and that's really the kind of thing I'm looking for I'm looking for a woman who's reliable who's punctual who's dependable because uh, let's face it relationships with shitty people suck real bad <laughs> and getting out of them can be kind of a chore sometimes so it's always good to pick your battles and uh, hook up with people who are worth it or nice I feel like a unibomber in this outfit probably look like one too standing out here talking to my phone like a crazy person <sighs> so how you been internet world this is kind of a longish video I've I've developed an unhealthy uh, favor towards Jack in the Box, which is just nasty, nasty food. And I'm also, I'm in kind of a conundrum because I'm putting on a good amount of weight. Um, 220 now, I want to get up to 240, 250 and start competing at heavyweight. I checked out a lot of the gyms in the area. Not a lot. By a lot, I mean two. So I really need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> but I'm working my way through the gyms that are in or around my area that I can travel to to find one that's good. So far, I haven't found one that meets the standard of quality that I'm looking for. I mean, I'm not new to this MMA game. I've been, I've been in and around for a while, and I know what's some good teaching when I see it, and I ain't, I ain't found some yet. It seems like the two gyms that I went to, they're just 
they're running a business. Let's say that. They're not fighters. They don't have the warrior spirit. They're not, they're not fighting to fight. They're fighting because you're giving them money and it's a job for them. And uh, lots of people get sucked in by that because they're good businessmen. I mean, they are. They know how to get your membership. They know how to, you know, develop a measure of customer service. But will they really guide you along the path of the warrior? I can't say that they do. So, I'm in Houston. I'm looking for a good gym. I'm also looking for a good place to get lots of meat. I know that's kind of strange, but uh, yeah, meat's important, and uh, I eat a hell of a fucking lot of it. So I need to get a good source of meat in mass in bulk. <laughs> uh, strange, strange requests to random people on the internet. So if you know of a good place to get meat in Houston, hit me. Or if you know of a good gym in Houston, hit me up with that. I've got aspirations of some pretty high-level competitions, so I'm not just going to accept the hobbyist gym. And that's the end for me, I think. Yeah, this is a good video for not having made one in a little bit. <sighs> Vlogities. They're good for you. My hands are cold. So I'm going to go into Starbucks and meet up with this uh, adorable little person who's a marine biologist. The end, human beings. Have fun.